wild times. We're back. Here we go. This is the wild times episode number 125. Cheers, guys. Oh, Cheers, yeah. man. Um, this is the wild times podcast, the greatest podcast in the entire world where we hang out, talk about wildlife, animals, all kinds of fun. If you haven't heard any of our other 124 episodes, Click. go and check them out. They're very good. I'm your host, Forrest Galante, the broologist. Joining me on my left, the ever lovely, the effervescent Papa P himself, the producer. How are you? This is one of the best days of my life. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just going to say that. This? You know, we all decided we're going to get together. Good. Delicious. Looks good. Oh, wait, hold on. I, so I gave Forrest a uh, uh, fat tire. Not to interrupt. I'm sorry. I, I feel like an asshole. You're I totally interrupting. Yeah. It was like ridiculous. I just I looked at you to know if it was a good beer. That's all. No. So fat tire sent us through Instacart a bunch of fat tires and then some IPAs that. that get you real good Taste and that. loopy. Really good. And that's a. Uh, it's very fruity. That's a uh, I don't even like one IPAs. of their IPAs. That's good. Really good. Really good. What one's that? Uh, I don't know. Voodoo Ranger What's Juice Force. That's juice Force. why, because it's a there's juicy like a, There's a little thing. hint. What's the uh, alcohol content on this bad boy? Oh, boy. Nine I, something. If I look, it it's hurts. It's not nine. I swear to God. It's nine something. Nine? No, eight. he's right. It's not nine. 9.5. 9. 9.5, That baby. packs a wallop. Because yeah. uh, here's the thing. Because of that little bit of juice, I would drink those fast. I'm going to go through this very, very quickly. I'm more excited about the beer today than I am. Well, that's why I was going to say that right, this is one of the about? best days of my life. Yeah. Because we decided we're going to record on the Monday to get the podcast out. Yep. We said nobody b- book any work for Monday. Haven't. Extending the weekend to a third day. It's a nice choice. That's classic. Cracking an ice cold fat tire at noon. It's a great mm-hmm. choice. It's just, I, f- I literally have the feeling like I woke up on vacation today. Uh, dude, I, it's the most unstressed, de stressed, stress free I have been I, in weeks. Also, I, I know what's in store for this podcast. I think it's going to be one of the best ones we've ever done. Yeah. I yeah. quit my job recently because we got <laughs> Fat Tire as a sponsor. Yeah. yeah. And I've never been happier to take a, an extra day on the weekend. So, cheers. All right. And cheers. who are you? We're introducing, we're still doing introductions. Oh. And beyond Pat is the bro, bro, what are you? The professor. Bro the professor. professor. I've had two sips. Yeah, he's fucked two up. Two sips. He's All right. Professor. Let's get into the good stuff. Yeah, let's I go. mean, if the podcast goes anything like this intro goes, we're fucked. Cheers, mates. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. Here we go. All right. Have I ever told you guys the IPA story with Jessica? No. no. Oh, it's really funny. Let's have oh, okay, it. Okay, so. It better be. Right into it. Um. <laughs> Uh, right when do you remember when double, when like IPAs came out and they were super trendy? It's like what six years ago, five six years. Uh, yeah, they've been popular for like ten years. I yeah, feel. okay, whatever. But <clears throat> it's called it's called yeah eight years ago ish. Yeah, like when the whole craft beer. It thing was the whole thing, and breweries yeah. were popping up everywhere. This place called Llama Dog opened in Santa Barbara. I think I've taken you there. I think before. so. Yeah, yeah. Re- it's really a cool good place. beer, really heavy beer. And there's this kid, and we go to rugby practice, and. Uh, I was still like actively playing, not just going to touch and like had a big hard training. And then guys were like, yeah, beers at Llama Dog. We're like, yeah, for sure. Let's go. So we roll over to Llama Dog. Oh, you know where Llama Dog is? It's the same place where the fucking whistleblower guy like threatened, oh, you know, oh, threatened yeah. to get the his bulletproof vest. Where yeah. he threatened you. Do you know who I yeah, am? That Nobody guy. does. Same sir. exact bar. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's, so it's a Thursday night. We finish up with training and we go to Llama Dog. It's still light out. It's like mid midsummer. And oh. we sit down. Wait, what time are we talking? Six? It's gotta be it's gotta be right at eight. What a good feeling. Eight o'clock, light out. Just worked getting, out hard. Getting a brisket. Yeah. yeah. Getting beers with your boys. Yep. Yep. We sit down and this kid starts running his mouth. I've known since he was like four, 13 years old. I coached him in youth rugby, everything. Starts and now you're running coaching his mouth. him to be a booze hound. Yeah. Starts running his mouth and he's like, dude, I was a, I was here last weekend. I drank three double APAs, didn't feel a thing. <laughs> and we're like, okay. Well, challenge accepted. And he keeps running his mouth. He keeps running his mouth. He's like, it's fine. Dude. I can drink three large double IPAs. I don't even get a buzz off of it. And well, how, what's the alcohol percentage? This one's thing? 6.8, but the other one I was having was nine. Okay. Well, these were in that like eight, yeah. nine range. Yes. So Super we're nine. like, all right, fine. And I was like, I'm getting all worked up. I was like, I'm buying you three double IPAs right now. You yeah. have 20 minutes to finish them. And if you finish them in 20 <laughs> minutes and you don't feel anything, like you win, like I'll pay I'll for pay all your for food, him. everything. Yeah. He's like, bring it on, easy. And I'm like, great. So go to the bar. I hate this guy. Yeah. <laughs> He's go to the young. Bar. We're all idiots at this Buy stage. him three, you know, double IPAs. They're pints. Sure. Um, yeah. 16 ounces. Yeah. Three double IPAs. Put them down in front of him. 
We, you know, it's like it's not. He's not chugging them. He's got thirty minutes to drink them. Yeah. And uh, we're drinking them. What, sorry, does he have twenty or thirty? He's sorry, like, I think it was. I think it was uh, twenty. I want to say it was twenty. That's ridiculous. Okay. Yeah. You know how Either hard it is just ridiculous. to drink a double IPA. It's a lot of volume. Yeah. yeah. Not just the volume, but it's like heavy and. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, it but the, like the story <laughs> takes a turn because we all know where this is going, but it takes a turn. <laughs> So we're, let's say it was 20 minutes. I don't remember anymore. It was years ago. Let's Doesn't say you had a 20-minute limit, okay? Yeah. I'm glad we spent 20 minutes on that. Yeah, at, exactly. At minute <laughs> 16 of 20, Jessica calls me, and she's crying. Oh, great. And I'm like, what's wrong, sweetheart? She's like, my grandma has just gone into emergency surgery. They don't think she's going to make it. Oh, my God. And uh, where are you? And I was like, oh, I'm at Llama Dog. I was like, come and get some food. You know, this is nothing we could do. Her grandmother yeah. lives in Washington. I'm like, come and get she some food. She just needed you. Yeah, like, come here. I'll give you a hug. Hang out with the guys. And we'll, uh, you know, we'll just chill. And, and then we'll go home together. And she's like, okay, that actually sounds great. Like, I need to get my mind off it. This is like minute 16 again of 20, right? Yeah. She walks in. And uh, as she walks in, I'm like, hi, sweetie. I was like, I just ordered you a burger. You know, go grab it, whatever. And it's at the counter. She walks over. And then we're looking at and there's still a full double IPA. And we're like, dude, minute 18, let's go. <laughs> and he's like, fuck. And he's like, he's already clearly drunk, sweating. Yeah. Eyes are glazed over. Like, let's go. Let's go. And the timing could not have been more fortuitous. My, my crying wife walks over with her hamburger. Okay. She's wearing a low cut V-neck shirt. Mm, I like the sound of that. <laughs> Tasty. <Nice. laughs> we're like chanting as <laughs> chugging the last of his double IPA. <laughs> and we're like looking at the clock. And he puts it down, and so we're sitting. Was he those. talking into the mic when he told a story, or can you shut the fuck Sorry. up? We're sitting at one of those long bar tables, and as my wife, who's all red eyed, everybody's giving her their condolences, sits down with her burger and her low cut shirt, she goes <laughs> across the table <laughs> into her chest, all over oh, her hamburger, into her chest. like. Down her shirt in the yeah, V-neck, in the all cleavage. over the hamburger. Ha, I that, got in the burger, too. <laughs> all <sighs> over the food. Horrific. Like, dark brown double oh. IPA. Was like, she hysterically laughing or so no, angry? No, so upset, oh, so God. angry. Oh, shit. She stands up. She's Again, her eyes are red <laughs> from crying. She <laughs> stands up. She's been at the shape. bar for under two minutes. Yeah. She stands up, takes her shirt off in Ooh. this public bar because she's covered in puke, yeah, that's throws really her shirt at... And is like, I'm going home. And just walks out of the bar. And he's just like holding his head, so embarrassed. <laughs> Shit face drunk. And uh, and all the guys are laughing hysterically. And I'm it's like, pretty, I have to go home right now. <laughs> it's pretty good. I when I just a question. Later that night, did did uh did did you guys bang? I mean, taking no. the shirt off in the bar. No, that was pretty, not where that was turn. going. That's lewd and lascivious behavior. That was not where that was going. Yeah. I do I, um, I I'll tell you the I do find it it's just amusing with Forrest. Even painting the the picture of the initial story is funny because you, you've seen it in a movie. The guy's wife is like crying. You knew she was getting puked on. But no, but I mean like, you know, she's she's like crying, she's really upset, and you as the guy like convince her to come and do your thing. Yeah, right. come I don't to you. Home. Hey, yeah. I got you a burger, go get it. And yeah. then she gets there and you're like in the middle, like looking at her, hey, hi. 16 minutes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's exactly how yeah. it went. He's like, yeah, yeah I'm really sorry about yeah. your grandma. Yeah. Tick tock. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. exactly. Move it or lose exactly it. Exactly how it went. Uh, the last time I puked from booze, I'll never forget the feeling. I know exactly where I was. I was 20 years old. Wow. I was in Fraser Island in Australia. Wow. And just got hammered <laughs> at the bar and uh, just fucking puked all over the bar. And that's a, Fraser Island's a interesting, I mean, there's like one bar. It's by that campsite area, exactly, right? Exactly, yeah. Yeah, because I've been have I, have Happened I, in bar. Have I ever told you guys about like when I started drinking? The first, wait, wait. No, nope. You're, you're really going to kill that <laughs> segue? Such a perfect segue to the news story. To oh, I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true. Oh, that God. really is the last time I puked. It was such a good, perfect segue. Kyle too. was giving the applause. Yeah, literally, Kyle was like, <laughs> and then Peter's like, we can, I, about. can I dog leg us back to aliens? <laughs> All right. <laughs> edit, edit. No, 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 no edit. edit. That's, That's got to stay in. in. Listen, That's I'm not in. looking at the fucking Some hot monitor. BTS action. All right. Well, with that point, now that our tra seamless transition set up by the producer <laughs> perfect. has been completely smashed, bit of news. <laughs> Yeah, bit of news. Fraser Island, the last place Pat ever puked from drinking. And by the way, that really is true. I believe you. Completely. Like halfway through your story, I was like, "Please let this end in puke." 
because I have such a good transition. Oh my god! <laughs> Thanks, Peter. Oh, it worked out great. <laughs> Works out even better. All right, Fraser Island's in the news, eh? Hey guys, if you're enjoying, whoops. Guys, if you like the Wild Times, check us out on Patreon. We put out four extra podcasts per month. That's one commute a week that you're just going to be laughing and learning the whole time in the car. <laughs> hey, let me do do something else. This is the late night content, the stuff that we we can't show on on YouTube because they'll kick us off YouTube. It's the Cinemax of podcasts, <laughs> uncensored, raw dog. It's the Cinemax of podcasts. Check it out. Link right here. Fraser Island is in the news. First of all, they've renamed it to Kagari. K- K- Kagari? 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 I don't know. It's been renamed recently. So I, when I first read it, I was like, I've never heard of this place. Yeah. It's Fraser Island. Oh, so how am I supposed to know you're talking about Fraser Island? It's not even in the title. It's, it's I'm literally, looking at it like, look at what the, the hell are they talking the, about? Like, I see Kagari. So for those Moving who don't on. know, Fraser Island is this massive island off the coast of Australia. Beautiful. Like yeah. big sand dunes, Eastern clear coast water. Of Australia. Okay. Uh, Eastern Australia. This is what it looks like. Beautiful. Pat and I have both Stunning. been there separately, awesome. not together. But Fraser Island is notorious for having the highest density of dingoes anywhere in the world. Yep. Mm. Dingoes, you know, having arrived in Australia four-ish thousand years ago, never massive, huge populations, except for some reason on Fraser Island. Did you see them while you were there? I've got a great dingo story. I think I've told it, but like <laughs> 80 podcasts ago, but they're, they're everywhere. They're running through the campsite. Everywhere. Um, there are wild dingoes Stealing in the interior babies. that yep. by the hundreds yep. that... Just you're just walking and there's dingoes and if you're over five six they don't fuck with you right and exactly. if you're like four eleven they might however Yikes. there was a woman who I'm guessing was under five six uh, <laughs> who was jogging and ended up going to the hospital when one dingo seeked her out and then began to attack her and she ran into the ocean to evade the dingo attacks, and the dingoes followed her into the ocean. Jesus. Holy yeah, shit. and I think it says, if you scroll down there somewhere, Kyle, she got bitten like six or seven times. Like, they really oh they really nailed her. What the fuck? Yeah. Are dingoes just that aggressive? They're, they're wild canids. I, they're weird because, are they aggressive? No. I would, it's like saying, is a coyote aggressive? But okay. under the right circumstance... They switch on, and especially in there, that pack mentality, that hen house syndrome that we've talked about. Yeah. They seem to just go a little bit nuts, and uh, this, this isn't the first time. There's been a couple bites in Fraser. Some some kid got pulled out of their tent, I believe, in Fraser Island. Yeah, There's and been a few of them. when I was baby. there, I had not left Australia yet, and there was a fatal attack on a mother and a, a child. A fatal attack? In, yeah. On Fraser as well? On Fraser, yeah. Oh, wow. uh, so it was like died? a couple months. Or, yeah. Dude. Yeah. I'm like, that's insane. But look, I mean, look wow. at this. It's been, so one of the dingoes involved in attacking this woman was already like being monitored because it had just attacked a six-year-old. So it was on yeah. bad behavior um, on time yeah. out. So that, like in the last couple months, there's been several different um, dingo bites. Mm. Um, and this is from yeah. habituation, by the way. This is because, as Patrick said, these dingoes are running through the campsites. They're they're picking up people's garbage and eating it. They're used to humans. They're around humans. Yeah. So you know they get like. This. Oh my so god! Look at this. Here here's the dingo biting this chick on her g string, which is quite something. This is a separate occasion, but different occasion. Same so, spot. Yeah. Look at them. So, so see, so they're yeah, just cruising around. I, I, I walked like up. This. So by the way, this beach. Look at the fucking balls on these. Are you kidding he me? He just wanted a rump steak. I would fucking kick that bitch right in the face, dude. Are you fucking kidding <laughs> me? You're talking about kidding? the lady or the, no, the, the dog? The, the dog. dog. <laughs> dude, um, if it was even coming near my ass to sniff, it's getting a, a direct She's hit. asleep and nobody was like, hey, yeah. Sally. I mean, what she, the oh, she got a little nip big, on the buttocks. She's got a nice tuckus. Like, I get well, yeah. what he's doing, you but know? That <laughs> beach, I think, is where <laughs> that shipwreck is that a lot of people yeah. go to see. Yep. So we were... We were, um, fuck these dang dingoes, dude. They're cute though, aren't they? That's dude, good, I would look and That happened me... because she panicked like that. It, it was oh, sort of, if walking she had away. sat up and been sort of aggressive towards it, yeah, it would have like panicked and run away, yeah. But because she like got up and fled, yeah, that's just predator brain kicking in. That's sure. like, whoop, nip, you know, like, and you could see that he was not. What on earth are you pulling up there, Kyle? Was he was not Forrest attacking Ronald her, Nathan? he was like doing that, like dog nip hurting type instinct. Uh, by the way, like, fuck these dingoes. What, how are they, why are there so many of these there? 
I don't know. It's a good question. I, I think maybe just so, good so habitat. Ding, dingoes are indigenous to Australia, I believe. I, As of 4,000 or so years ago. Maybe you, it's 10,000. Look, this look, up, Kyle? look I up, think Fr- they relocated a lot of dingoes to Fraser Island. It's I, like I think humans are involved. It's like an in, assurance colony? I'm not sure, but I, I, I you know, very vaguely remember. Um, it's like having a shitty pet yeah, dog humans, around. Humans brought the dogs to Fraser Island. And now no, the dogs no, no, are says, taking the over. The idea is that dingoes may have swum to Fraser Island. Really? Well, this That's is interesting. Things. It's thought that humans further, br- oh, further brought the yeah. dogs. Um, they just invaded this but fucking so island. But so you know that dingoes aren't, I don't know, a lot of people don't know this. Dingoes are not like an African wild dog. Dingoes are some Australasian, like Indonesian pet that mm. were brought with people when, when people oh. first settled Australia. Really? There I were no... Yeah, they're like an invasive species, but because they've been there so long, they're seen as iconic. By the, basically, by the time the white people got there, they're like, oh, these things are native. And then it turns out they're not. Yeah. When Aboriginal people first settled that area, when they came across like the Australasia, New Guinea, and down, they brought their hunting dogs with them, which is what dingoes are. Interesting. So did they go from being like domesticated animals back to being wild animals? So they're never domesticated the way we think of domesticated animals, right? Like they weren't sleeping on their feet and stuff like that. They yeah. were, they'd bring them along as hunting dogs mm. and then, you know, they'd sleep outside and run wild and right, stuff right. like that. But yeah, yeah, they basically just went fully feral. If, I mean, somebody should fact check all of this, but I, it's pretty well known that they came with people mm-hmm. and then they just took over Australia, basically. Dude, so I, ha- I knew that we had a Fraser Island story. I had not, I didn't know how it ended. I thought you were going to say that she ran into the ocean and just got tagged by 15 tiger sharks. There's so many tiger <laughs> sharks there. It's crazy. So it's pretty crazy. There's, uh, you, you, you can't swim on that fucking beach. They can't beach. swim. They because tell you do not. It's swim. illegal. They'll arrest. They'll arrest yeah. you. Be- and so if you go up to like, uh, there's a cliff where you can overlook the beach and see the tiger sharks. And that's what it looks like, dude. Oh, I'm ne- I you never just saw see oh God, tiger swarm. sharks everywhere. I've never seen that. I didn't see that many, but I saw probably seven or eight tiger sharks. Wow, I was like, holy that. shit! They're wow. really just hanging out in the shallows. You know, it's nice that the animals are are taking this territory over. We should just leave. Humans should just leave the island, dude. If you haven't. If you're thinking about going to Australia, like it's a really fun adventure place oh, to go Fraser it's Island great. for like two, three days. Like fucking just like crazy river floats through jungle. Oh, nice. That sounds huge sweet. sand dunes with a lake at the bottom. You just roll down it. It's fucking awesome. There's that also a awesome. super cool endemic species of turtle there. I have pictures, but uh, it's called uh, Fraser Island short neck turtle. Oh, let's see what this Chelonia thing looks like. Nigra. Maybe Drew will find it at the Reptile Roadshow. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Here you go. Chelonian Nigra, is that what he's called? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Yeah, Fraser Island Shortneck. Nope. I was uh, Emidura Nigra. Yeah, this little guy. Beautiful. They get pitch black shells, and they're everywhere in those freshwater lakes. It's a good looking turtle. Yeah, they're good turtles. <laughs> Dingoes, oh, though. You ever seen a dingo pup? Like a little baby dingo? I haven't, but I'm assuming it's like a puppy and it's adorable. It's ungodly. Look at these things. <laughs> Dude, all, all animals. A hippo, a dangerous hippo is cute as a baby. I actually, I would venture to say the more deadly and dangerous, the cuter the baby. Yeah. Yes. Like, like the hippo o- babies are the cutest. The only <laughs> species that has ugly babies is humans. Has anyone ever That's thought true. about like, hey, look at, what's... Look at that. Are you kidding me? <laughs> if so I could cute. have any pet, any pet, I know I've said wombat before, it would be... <laughs> A baby hippo that never that grows never up. gets any bigger. <laughs> yeah, it mouth. just lives in my little koi pond out my back door, and it it looks like that. It's all fat and wrinkly. Like Look that. at it. It looks like a fucking pug. Well, let me just throw something out there. Yeah, for any, anyone who's listening or watching, if you've ever wanted to know what's the cutest baby animal, you're about to find We're out. We're gonna tell you. We're gonna do a cute baby animal. Peter has no Look idea. At that Peter has no idea what's going it's, on. He was fucking. <laughs> I could sense we the were, segue. I could we were, sense it that when time. When we were in our pre-podcast meeting, Peter had his headphones in. Yeah, so. that's true. Yeah, no All right. Idea. Ultimate. This is the ultimate showdown. Cutest baby animal. Oh, yeah. This NCAA is a good tournament style bracket. This may be the thing that puts us on the map as a media Pe- company. I mean, people love our brackets. It's become like a big we, thing. Let's, let's we do it do a little this. differently okay. for us since you are going to know what these things are because they don't have names. <laughs> Don't You're going to host it. Okay. We'll do it. You'll be the tie break in the event of a tie between me and Peter. Okay. 
Starting us off, how many, how, many bra- how many do we have in this bracket, Kyle? Have a good game, sir. Have a good game. I shall win. Oh, boy. Kyle's going to hand count them. Looks like an 18. No. Uh, Kyle's lo- using an abacus. 32. Okay. This bracket website is great, by the way, with the big pictures. All right, here Let's we go. go. Kyle, don't start auto-filling. What's the matter with you? Kyle's awfully confused. All right. Here we <laughs> All go. right. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, starting off, what is the cutest animal that you have seen? I have no idea what the seeds are here. A baby dolphin or a newly born chipmunk? Let's do, let's do like a three, two, one. We both say it at the same time. Or is that ridiculous for a podcast? You could try it. I, I just think it'll be more competitive. Three, two, one. Chipmunk. Dolphin. Wow. There we go. <laughs> First tie break. I, I mean, we're not going to do that, everyone. That okay. we're not going to do. For, that for those of you who are only listening, you should come. You should watch this one. Yeah, you come can watch to the video it on Patreon. Spotify too, right? Yeah, you, you should watch, watch this one. These pictures. It's are also let's be honest. Adorable. This is going to take us probably 30, 40 minutes of the cutest baby animal pictures you've ever seen. I've never seen anything cuter than this chipmunk. <laughs> yeah, and I have to side with Peter on this. I, I, oh, I yeah. think that dolphin. Yeah, sorry, that's I, a huge upset. The, the chipmunk's yeah, adorable, but it's basically a fluffy rat. So I'm, I got to go dolphin. Okay. <laughs> Big right. upset early. Oh. Okay. Oh. Wow. All right. We have, a, oh my God, an adorable red panda from Nepal or some small porpoise. Is it a, one of those, the ones with, that has the bulb head? What is that called? Like a, a beluga? I don't beluga. think that's a baby beluga. No. Does it, doesn't say anywhere, Kyle? It's just random pictures. Good. Well, my beautiful gonna, wife walking through everybody. Say there's, hello. there's no way. We love you. There's no way a beluga is ever that small. That's got to be a porpoise. Of it's some, some sort. kind of porpoise. Maybe a harbor porpoise. Okay. See, see, this is going to be weird now because you guys went with dolphin. That red panda is absurdly cute, but that porpoise is ridiculous. <laughs> what is if, it? Honest to God, if I if I woke up one day and I went to go take a pee and my dick had transformed into that. <laughs> I would, I'd be fine with it. You'd be like, hey. Yeah, I'd be okay. I wouldn't even go <laughs> would to the doctor. Would you show your wife, though? Yeah, I would show everybody. Yeah, like, hey, look at this fair. thing. It can yeah. move around like a... Yeah. All, right. All right, what do you got? Oh, I'm definitely going with the red panda. It's no question. Dude, that's two for red panda. I think the red oh, panda would take the whole thing if it were up for if me. If it didn't have its tongue out, it wouldn't even be cute. Yeah. Dude, that red panda is the cutest animal I've ever All seen. All right, this is a down. good matchup. This is like we're looking at like seats four and five yeah. together here. This, yeah. We this got, we got baby matchup. panda bear in a tree versus baby koala bear in a tree. This is like literally dead even in my viewpoint right now. I'm going to go ahead and just give it to the panda because his mouth is open. <laughs> <laughs> Open mouth. Uh, unfortunately, I have to agree with you. No tie break in this one. <laughs> I, I would have gone for the koala. So wow. I'm, I'm. This is a what, different the mouth dynamic. open. I mean, if the koala had its mouth open, also the the hand yeah, in the air. Like, like, it, ah. it, it looks like he's being like, uh, "I'm gonna eat you." He's right. literally going <laughs> surprise. But dude, that I mean. It's close because yeah. that fucking yeah. koala yeah. is... Panda advances. Yeah. Panda advances. So we, panda we already have two pandas. Two pandas of two types of panda in the world. Right. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Another tough one, actually. Okay. We have a baby white tiger versus the undeniable symbol of Eastern cuteness, which is a baby <laughs> bunny. Let's do a three, two, one. On I'm really one glad you're right. hosting because I would have thought that was like a baby hamster. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, this is easy. Three, two, one. Hamster. Wow, that's also a bunny. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he forgot. No, I'm I'm with I'm with Pat on this one. It's got to be a tiger. I mean, we're not look. going cool animals. Look how cute that damn bunny is. I don't care if there's millions of them in our backyard. See, I Peter. think the problem is, as being the tiebreaker guy, I've seen a million baby bunnies, had a million baby bunnies. They're hard to beat, but I've never <laughs> got to see a baby I, I tiger. I will also say this: if they were both here, if 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 uh, Jack Hanna came in and, yeah. and, and let us play with these, them, yeah. we're rolling around on the floor with that tiger. Straight up. But the game is cutest animals, lest we not forget. Too late. Tiger won. Tiger okay. advances. All right. Another big cat. So we have an African lion versus Handsome. a quokka. Don't forget, <laughs> these are the cutest animals in the whole world as voted by... Like everybody, <laughs> Forbes, a survey of over twenty-five million people. Is that, yeah, there you so. go. <laughs> okay, go lion, first, Peter. Quoka. Oh, dude, I mean, uh, I, uh, you guys have me messed up from the last one. Now I'm like not going by pure cuteness. I'm going by like wrestling on the floor with it. But I'm going yes. Quokia because yep, uh, it. it rhymes with the butthole thing. Official term for the Quokka. Clo- 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 there's nothing cuter. There's a few things cuter What's than an adult Quokka. Smiling at you. Yeah. With the hands um, out. 
I'm a catman, but <laughs> I, I, this this baby Quoka is. I think it's going to win the entire thing. Yeah, it's unanimous for Quoka. Well, Very I just, good. I, let, let me. Real quick, just clarify. What's the, the butthole called on animals? Cloaca. 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 I, that's what I was... You knew what he was... I'm glad you're here to translate. Well, you're foreign, It'd just be Cloaca. dead air in between us because you he's like, born, the butthole thing? You were Wait, born where in Africa. Quokas live? Uh, on uh, Rottnest Island, Western Australia. Man, they're cool. Yeah. Very cute. And I was man. right there and I didn't go and see him. I, oh, I was in boy. Perth. They're a 20-mile boat ride away. I didn't make it there. Wow. Let me ask you this. What is the animal on the left? Do you guys know? Polar bear. Polar bear. Good. I wasn't, I mean, I knew too, but it's just like that picture. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like it doesn't look like the, the ruthless killing machine that, that is a polar that bear. That it's going to turn into. That pix yeah. definitely had some work done in Okay. Photoshop. Baby polar bear, baby orca. <laughs> polar bear. Dude, funny. I mean, look at the red tongue. It's, yeah. and the little bit of snow on the nose. Yeah. Uh, you can't look. Look at the sad, droopy eyes and the little ears, man. I don't even think the baby orc is that cute, to be well, honest. I, like maybe it's, it's the picture. But. It's it's yeah. not really fair. You're looking at like a wide shot of an orca jumping. It's right. like a I mean, stubby. It looks like my big toe. Yeah, we like to look at faces. I mean, we're drawn really to does. faces. Yep. All right, polar bear Yunnan. Next. Oh, right. oh this is a my. crazy matchup. What this is, is tough. that? What is that thing this on the is right? Tough. <laughs> <laughs> that like, mythical organism on the left is a baby and Indian elephant God. versus a tiny, it's, it looks like a gray kangaroo, eastern gray kangaroo. Oh, really? I thought that was a chihuahua. Dude, I thought <laughs> I thought it was a fusa. No. I swear to God. It's a, it's a kangaroo or a wallaby. It looks like an eastern gray. Okay. Okay. Um, that baby Indian elephant's ridiculous. I mean, if you're going with the, I want to roll around on the floor bit. Yeah. Like, come on. Also, you do have to take size into perspective here. That kangaroo is probably about this big, probably oh, sit yeah. in your hand. Four whereas inches. the baby elephant is like a Great Dane. Whereas in the picture, the baby elephant, the kangaroo is bigger than the elephant. Did you go elephant? Um, no. Listen, I am definitely going elephant because I've seen close-ups of baby elephants, and that picture does not do it justice. Good choice. They are so goddamn good, good, cute. Good choice. Good choice. All right, unanimous. Next up. This is the most fun I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ooh, my God. We're bringing it to North America. Yep. I like oh. it. These are backyard critters right here. This North is American lucky. Battle. I, oh. I bet we all know someone who's seen both of these in a day in the springtime before. We have a deer. A doe. Looks like a white tail. No, a baby deer. Okay. Not a doe. A doe. A deer. A female, a female deer. deer. Uh, a baby deer. A fawn, actually. <laughs> okay. Versus... Baby skunks, striped skunk. It's tough. Good. Listen, <laughs> I'm really biased in this picture because back when I liked my dog, <laughs> he would he would curl up in a donut <laughs> position just like I that, know, that baby cute. deer. Yeah. And I, like I I want to like bite that thing's cheek. Uh, I'm going <laughs> I'm going with the fawn. All right, nice. Ba baby skunks are interesting. Note the claws though. They still have those creepy claws. <laughs> I, I don't even know if I'd pet one if it came in. So baby deer, oh. easy. So at the end of this, I, I am going to send Kyle a video of me picking up a baby skunk that I found on my road. Okay. It's one of the cutest things I've ever seen in my life. Interesting. But the deer one. Okay. Baby deer advances. That's going to be a tough competitor in the next All one. right. Next, next set. Hey, brosters. Thank you for being loyal subscribers. We appreciate everything that you do. And now we have a membership offer for you. I think you can get ad-free episodes, I heard. That's pretty big. Ad free is big, but you can also get your comments looked at so we don't have to sift through the millions. How do you do that? Center. Is there some sort of badge system? There's a badge system, <laughs> a loyalty badge. <laughs> Boom. Shows up next to your name in the comments. Boom. Oh, we man. read the comment. All this badge talks. Make, I'm going to the badge store. He's going to You're get a badger. badger. He's going he's gonna to buy one. Didn't earn it. He's going to buy one. He did a fake leave. <laughs> well, I assumed Kyle would know to cut on the motion. <laughs> All right, let's cut now. That's, that's our ad. So the way this bracket works, unlike most brackets, you complete one side to get to the finals matchup. Right, you get your finalist versus the other I, finalist. Listen, I might be the odd man out, but I actually think it's kind of cool a little bit. You're All the right. odd man out. All I right, second round. What do we got? All right, baby dolphin versus red panda. Red panda. It's no question red panda. Great. I think it's going all the way. Not Pat's fucking I'm going to say that's dick. the ninth seed going all the way. Regular panda, panda versus white tiger, Let's baby. do one, two, three. One, one two, two, three. Tiger. Panda. 
Wow. Tiger. Yeah, baby. Yeah. No. I it's, think I, the red not. pandas much. I, I've always been like not that into regular pandas. I don't know why. I could see that because they are like the stereotypical cutest animal. And I think animal. that's why I don't like them. Because yeah, I, of the, I get the that. stigma. I don't think the Tiger's a serious competitor to win, but he made it to the third round. Good job. It's good. Should be good when he te- matches up against Quoka versus Polar Bear. Hmm. Quoka. God, I got to go Polar Bear just because of the filter they put on that tongue. It's so <laughs> red. <laughs> oh, he just man, had a Jolly this Rancher. Is <laughs> this is tough. What did you say? He just had a Jolly Rancher. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Shit. I think something about the Quoka is like a little bit too rodent-y to yes. be that cute for me. I'm going to go Polar Bear. It looks like a wow. rat panda. That's a rat uh, cross with the panda. I would call uh, that a big upset. Uh, not a, po- a koala mixed Ooh, okay. with a rat. Here we go. Baby Indian oh. elephant versus fawn. God, this one's tough. Oh, man. I, I, we said it was cutest. I'm sticking to it. The fawn. Oh, this is so hard. It is close. Because baby elephants, if you've ever seen videos of them, like they're intelligent. They're, they're so, their ears, they wiggle. They do fa- fake charging. I got to go. Sorry, Charlie. I'm going with the elephant. I'm, I'm with Peter. Wow, oh, baby Indian elephant. I love it. Like, look at it. The face, the expression. Oh, it's got a trunk for oh, a wait, nose. We, this is quarterfinal. Semi, well, semifinals I on think, one side. I think we're down to four on this Final side. Final four on this set. Yes. Yeah. Trunk for a nose. All right. Red panda versus white tiger. Red v. white. This is tough. Hard one for me. This is hard for me to say. The red panda. Yep. Kinker. Unanimous. Bye-bye, tiger. That's, See ya. You don't have to be mean. <laughs> Wow, this one's oh, hard. No. Peter's this favorites. This one is hard. Peter's two favorites, polar bear versus Indian elephant. You go right, first. Let's have a little... No, no, no. Go first. A discussion <laughs> about this. I mean, as I just talked about no collusion. The, the elephant, uh, it's just so cute. But that baby polar bear, knowing that eventually it's going to turn into this killing machine, aggressive, will kill humans without prompting. I'm going baby elephant. I'm sorry. Sorry, Panda. I'm going to make you decide bear. for us because I'm, I'm oh, going to say that no. that polar bear cub I didn't want to decide. would get an awful <laughs> lot of attention in I this room. I didn't want to decide. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's got to be the polar bear. Yeah. yeah. Because, like, look, you want to cuddle that. Yes. Well, Listen, well the elephant thank you. is more adorable. I, I'm you not want, mad. I want to cuddle that baby polar Like, imagine this. No white little Ugh. bear sitting there. Like, Tongue the out. Snow on the nose, right? dude. I can't. Yeah. Just yeah, I'm not mad about give it. Give him a plate yeah. of cocaine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> cocaine right. bear. Bear v. Bear. We got red it's, panda. Well, it's, it's cocaine bear. bear too. Polar cocaine bear. <laughs> Pol- polar coke. That's actually not a bear. I don't they know probably why I said that. Will red panda it. versus white polar bear. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Um, cuteness, it's the red panda. Ah. <sighs> Red panda, look at the fluffy ears. Yeah, that's I mean, unanimous. I think it's going to take the whole thing. So he thing. goes to the finals. Yeah. Red panda is Red in panda to the finals. The finals. Okay. Right, now we're on the other side. Other side. Okay. Wow, this is a tough one. What have we got here, Forrest? What do you think we're looking at? Do you know? Well, I know that's a cheetah. <laughs> the, <laughs> the primate. Cheetah is, versus gorilla. We're oh, looking it's a at gorilla. a cheetah versus a newborn gorilla. I've here. never seen a, a baby gorilla, adorbs. even in pictures. Straight up adorbs. So it's, fucking. This cute. is the easiest matchup yet. Wow. I mean, the gor- the the newborn gorilla it's, is ridiculous. It's a better human. That's it's what a, it is. It's a <laughs> massive contender to win the whole thing. <laughs> I mean, I'm not even going to argue a hundred percent. The gorilla, baby gorilla. It I could, love the cheetah. That's got a so chance at taking either. out the red panda. It does. I'll give you. If that. he makes it. If, if he, he makes, makes it. it. Next, Kyle. We don't even know who's on this side. Wow, here we go. Oh, wow. We have what I think is a Cape fur seal, maybe a... Yeah, I think so. Baby Cape fur seal. The white fins for yeah, feet. Yeah, that's why I'm thinking it's a fur seal versus a tiny jaguar. My goodness. Look at the color scheme on that jaguar. You're, like, that is beautiful. So they did the jaguar disservice here. That is here. a jaguar and not an ocelot, right? It's such a weird picture. I think it's it, also it is. like. More it of is. like a, it doesn't look, it's not like newborn right. cute, you know? No, right. it's like a, um, like an infant. Yeah. It's also not even one of the better looking seal pups I've seen. True. Well, it looks like a little bit dirty. It's got a mole on its side it's, of its face or something. Yeah. That little black, or that is ears. Fins are tarnished. Fins are tarnished. 
Um, I'm gonna take the newborn ja- the, the, the 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 jaguar jaguar jaguar. Literally, like it hurt my heart physically a little bit as we were making fun of the seal because like it's obviously just a baby and of course, can't do anything about joke. the way he looks. But I'm going with the jaguar. I'll tell you what. I obviously ja- jaguar wins. I would have picked the seal, <laughs> except one of those two animals you can play with. You can't cuddle a seal. You're just cuddling like a stinky fish dog. Yeah. Like you can't true. you can't cuddle with that guy. I mean stinkyfishdog.com. Yeah. <laughs> Secure it, Kyle. Stinky fish dog. All right. Com. We have a tiny hedgehog versus wow. a tiny tiger. Easy choice for me, partly because your mom had a hedgehog. You remember that nasty thing? It was very, very bitey. It yeah. bit everyone who held it. Everyone. Horrible um, animal. They are cute, but not anywhere as cu- nearly as cute as that tiger. Wow. I Tiger cub? I extremely disagree. That hedgehog it's, might be the cutest animal we've had in the entire bracket. Because you didn't bracket. get bit by one. Yeah. Dude, look at the little the little limbs. Is that a penis I have a scar. I, I, have, a I scar. have scars, too, look from at, that fucking thing. Look at that. Yeah. Uh, we know where this is going. Come on, Forrest. Just say it. You didn't hold my mom's hedgehog, dude. It was the nastiest animal. <laughs> oh, it was I've a held your hedgehog. mom's hedgehog. No, I, I have a scar that will be on my hand for the rest of my life on my pinky. From yeah, me your hedgehog. Okay, pure my cuteness, though, yeah. Forrest. <laughs> we're, going, spot. Yeah. we're going pure visual cuteness. You don't know these animals. You never heard of them. You well, never. You, you brought into account them. the elephant's intelligence. That's different. We're so talking we both about have a hedgehog. scars yeah. on our pinkies. I'm not the, a good vote. I don't like hedgehogs. I'm not a good vote. Tiger and Von <laughs> Sorry. Kyle. Tie break. All right, no, just kidding. So I just don't like them anymore. By the way, real Retie. quick sidebar. We got that hedgehog from like a family whose teenager bought the hedgehog and then never gave it any love or attention. Hmm. And they're like, we don't want this. Our kid's gone to college. It's a gotcha. fucking nasty spike rat that we have. So you, yeah. We rescued it, like yeah. everything yeah. at our house. And I was like, yeah, we'll take it. I've always wanted a hedgehog. What a cool pet. <laughs> It's the only rescue I've given away ever in my life. We had it for like three weeks. Pat came up and bit yeah. the shit out of him and his girlfriend and everybody. And I was like, I just <laughs> yeah. can't with this well, thing anymore. It makes anymore. me sad. He was he came from a broken home. He did. So did Charlie. I and know. He's he's also, Charlie's also bitten me. So yeah. Now we have baby gates everywhere so I can keep him contained. It's fantastic. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, next. <clears throat> oh, wow. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. Meerkat versus Red Fox. Wow. There's something about the eyes on this meerkat that... I don't trust. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were not. That's, I, not, the yeah, that's I not where I thought you were going. going. He <laughs> looks. He, he looks like uh, Charlie. Ears back. He's just ghoulish. Right before he's about to attack. <laughs> I mean, it looks like it looks like uh, someone who dressed up for a Marilyn Manson concert. <laughs> Like, it's a disaster. He's got the eyeliner on, painted his ears black. Well, he's black. also got a huge ego because he was on Meerkat Manor. Yeah, he's a celebrity. He's a celebrity baby. <laughs> yeah, he looks like he's trying too hard to be cute. Wow. One you guys are percent. brutal. So it's obviously the Red Fox. Cause easy, that was, easy. Oh, no, that was just a five-minute insult session for the, uh, <laughs> he's still the picked adorable meerkat. baby animal. Are you really going Meerkat? No. Fox. Fox. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> That's funny. Nurks. All right. Oh, we have another little we have Oh, one. my God. A tiny otter, which I'm not going to lie. If I built this bracket, it never would have crossed my mind. And now that I'm seeing it, I think it might go all the way versus a piglet. <laughs> okay. Also adorable. I just was never Let's expecting a baby otter to be I that think, cute. Okay. All right. Three, two, one. Piglet. Otter. It's Look otter at the sure. piglet. Look okay. Hang, hang on. Hang on. So we both did otter. Yeah. You said piglet. When this got pulled up, Kyle off camera goes, "Oh, yeah." He I met, saw that. Which one was it that that what was insane that reaction, reaction for? The piglet. For yes, sure. me too. Oh. What? Me too. The, well, it's the face. It's the face, and he's like kind of looking up and smiling. Oh, that nose. Wow. Listen, right, brosters, rock paper if scissors. You want Liot, we need Liot. We need a tiebreaker. <laughs> She's working. Oh, it's, lame. Listen, Brosners, weigh in on this one in the comments. The piglet. Oh. We need or to the otter because we're doing a bracket. Well, uh, what are we gonna do? We got two for two here. Um, no, only okay. Kyle only got a vote there because his reaction was wild That's to the true. piglet. So it's so, fine. Take take your you know take what? your otter. I I think we have to go piglet because really? none of us shrieked. When That's we true. Saw it. Kyle, Kyle's whole body quivered like a yes, dog about my to get stomach. Treat. So he gets dropped. The t- he gets the t- <laughs> he gets the tie break. Kyle right. piglet. Okay. Piglet. Boom. Wow. Yeah. All right. I, I literally think that for me, the otter might have won the whole thing. I mean, that wow. melted my heart. So <laughs> well, I'm, I'm heartbroken. I'm devastated. Well, I mean, I, when our producer almost faints out of his chair. That's true. Yeah, that's a bigger reaction <laughs> than I had. All right. We have a baby grizzly here, a baby brown bear versus a tiny little emperor penguin. 
Holy crap. I, I don't like what they did with the color. Can't you just like show us the non-black and white version of that? No, no, that is that. the non-black and white version. That's the real color. Oh. You're having a laugh. Huh? Is it really? No, that's the real color. Type in baby penguin. I'll go to a different tab. I mean, they might have wow. taken the color out of his beak, but I mean, that's Oh, that's they it. took the color out of his goddamn look, beak. No, like go to one of those. Go to, go to that group picture. See? That's the real picture. Ew, look at what they look You're like. You're right. Old. Yeah, see? That's not a black and white photo. That's what they look like. And he's sitting against his father's Ooh. white plumage. Yeah, so what do we uh, have here? Is that a, that's a brown bear, a grizzly? Yeah. I mean, One dude, I, I really... The, 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 yeah, that uh, is funny the, that you thought that was black and white. That's the real... That's it. The penguin looks like a dead doll. I'm definitely going baby brown bear. <laughs> um, it's cute. It's fuzzy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it to the penguin. I've seen a, I've seen Ooh, a lot of baby no. brown bears in real life. They no. are cute, but... Yeah, not as cute as that penguin. I think our stigma of baby bears is the teddy bear, and that makes us all think they're cuter than they are. <laughs> Agreed. Um, however, penguins are disgusting. They smell. They smell really, really Dead bad. Doll. No, Dead I, doll. I got to go for the bear. I got to. Boop, penguins yeah. are so, like, it's adorable, but if you've ever been anywhere near a penguin, they're mean, they bite, they shit on themselves and everything around them. They stink. It's, they do smell yeah, bears. They don't shit or attack. <laughs> <laughs> One of those two things you'd want to cuddle. The other, you'd be like, that this thing true. smells bad. I'm glad oh. Forrest is the arbiter. All what right, is what that is that thing on the left? Do we know? Uh, yes, I know. Can I guess? Yeah. yeah. Sloth. Very good. Yes. yes. Very yes. good. Yep. All right, we have a tiny sloth versus a newly hatched duckling. This is crazy, dude. This is mental bananas. You think this it's is, hard for you? This is so close oh. for me. Oh, no. Easy for me. Same. Sloth. That baby sloth's ridiculous. Dude, I mean, look at it. Just moving Majestic. slowly. I, I'm going to go with you. I'm going, uh, final answer. Uh, dude, look at the webbed feet. <laughs> the beak. Come on. I'm going with the baby duck. I'm sorry. Okay. Can okay. I do the tiebreaker in the voice of David Attenborough? Yes, yes please. Absolutely. Okay. And as you see here, the competition has stiffened between the young duckling and the three toad sleuth. <laughs> <laughs> However, upon closer examination, you will see that by far the cutest animal on this slide is indeed the three toad sleuth. Sleuth. Yeah. Sleuth. <laughs> All right, take it. Nice take job. It. Nice job. Disagree, but take it. Sloth. Look at its wins. little toe on the webbed foot toe next. It's not even connected. Yeah, no, I love that slot. Nothing you can do. Oh, my. What do we wow. have here? Okay. Um, wow. I honestly, I mean, obviously it's a monkey of some kind. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, just give your best guess. Uh, oh, wow. It looks like a tiny langer. Okay. okay. So I'm going to say a tiny black langer versus an Arctic fox. Not, not a macaque? No, okay. not a macaque. Try, Kyle, why don't you fact check me here? Why don't you go baby <laughs> langer, L-A-N-G-U-R? This one is yeah, really hard for me, Pat. I'm pretty sure it's what a about you? It's a good one. It's yeah, a really it is. It's just not this. Well, wait a minute. You got the ears. Look at that That's color. Tough. Oh, that's a, yeah, black langer. Oh, no, well, it's not a black langer because the black langers have, doesn't matter. It's a baby primate. Well, I, I want to say. Come and watch on the video. You got to see this animal. It's No, it's definitely not a macaque. Ludicrous. Maybe, may, go back to it quickly. No, it's not a vervet. Is that just a Sykes weird monkey? human? It Try looks like he's Sykes wearing monkey. a skeleton suit, like the ones you wear for I think Halloween. it might just be a weird human. Yep, K-E-S. <laughs> a woman. <laughs> Try Sykes monkey. Nope. Really? It's yeah, close. Looks like it. We got right. some kind of We got a here. baby monkey of some sort. Yeah. Not a vervet. Versus an Arctic fox Good. pup. Sure. A nice mono brow. Sure. Versus an Arctic fox. <laughs> he does. Look at his mono brow. Yeah. Boy, absolutely. Oh boy. Uh, I, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I mean, this primate came up to the camera and said, I'm going to smile and look the cutest yeah. I could look. And then did it. And waited for the picture to be taken. Everything about it is adorable. From the unibrow to the skeleton Halloween suit it's got on. <laughs> I'm going baby primate. I'm going to go with the Arctic fox pup. Dude, forest. I, uh, I like the monkey. I had a Thank baby you. monkey growing up. Ugh. They turn into the worst pets you've sure. ever had. An, a an adolescent monkey is the worst Your dad thing. almost chased them all with a shotgun. I told that He story. shot yeah. at him. An adolescent <laughs> monkey is the worst thing you've ever met. But as a baby, they are the most adorable What was its name? Creature. Chippy. Chippy. That's right. All right. Ju Chippy Justin, wins. Justin Bieber had a monkey and took it to like Australia or somewhere and then just left it because I think it got too old. There's like seven things wrong with that statement. But um, 
All right, let's continue. Monkey I like wins. the Biebs Fuck these off, days. Babes. I like All right. Them now. All right, here we go. Gorilla Jaguar. So this Second is the round. final. Oh, this is no, not round. the final. It's the, it's, how did you get to final? I see he's had six IPAs. <laughs> um, second round. Oh, second sorry. round. Second round. <laughs> All right. Gorilla versus Jaguar. <laughs> Simple. One, two, three. One, two, three. Gorilla. Gorilla. Yep. Yeah. You know. Fact. No question. It's, it's a contender. It's a it contender. Is. All right, we have oh, wow. a good one. Wow. Let's call it a Bengal tiger versus a red fox. Wow. Red fox. Oh, God. I, it's, uh, I, I'm, this is the closest this one. This is dog versus yeah. cat here, boys I, it, and girls. It's, it's annoying to me uh, because... The, it's I'm sorry. A, I'm going to go back. I'm going tiger. It's way cuter. I, I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> what that what was annoys dumb. me about this is that the comparison is a wide shot or a medium shot of the fox versus like a close-up... Of the uh, eyes uh, of the of the tiger face, and it's not Turning fair. Its, head, it's curious. I'm going fox, dude, because it's getting the shit end of the stick on this one. It is. Sympathy I'll give vote. you that. Also, they should have had a baby battered fox in this. That would have taken the cake. Uh, I'm gonna go tiger. Yeah, yeah. It's just that's, that's too hard. It's, it's close. It's really hard. I mean, yeah. I don't. Like, I didn't have a strong. Opinion. I'm not unhappy about there it. There are a few things cuter than a baby tiger. Yeah. <laughs> All right, next, like your dolphin. Ooh. All right, we got piglet, which. Still shouldn't be here nah. versus the baby brown bear. Uh, it's no question. Go ahead. Me. It's the piglet. The piglet wins the whole thing. I'll say it right now. In, in this matchup, it is the piglet. I'm literally standing up from this pot. I'm eating bacon on pizza after this. What's uh, wrong with the goddamn pig? Though? I'm just saying like one of those things is like, Kyle, don't laugh. It's not that funny. It's it like look cynical. snout on this pig. It is. All right, piglet it is. Piglet wins. Yeah. Real this underdog. Mr. Pig. Oh, wow. wow. Now we got eyes on eyes. This is a tough matchup. Dead yeah. okay. even. Dead right. even on Baby this Baby Sloth one. versus wow. uh, Chippy the Monkey. Wow. wow. Sloth. A baby three-toed sloth is ridiculously oh cute. Oh, my God. The Despite fur its on pig its little nose. paws. Um, Keep in mind the speed. Like, you're looking at, like, one animal that's just, like, all over you the whole time. Yeah. Versus the other that's, like. And I've seen that video where the sloth is hanging off the boat, running his fingers in the water. Have you yeah, ever seen I've that? Yeah, I've seen that video. That video is hilarious. It's tough because they're both posing for the camera here. They are very much so. I got to go with that monkey, though, dude. He's beautiful. So we got one for each? Yeah. yeah. It's tough. It's, it's a tough. tough one. It's a sloth for me. I think that's one of the I've ever seen. It like, doesn't even look about this one. like... The monkey looks like something that you know exists. I know, I know. <laughs> Whereas that sloth with the no eyes and the no like forehead expression, it yeah. looks otherworldly. So the sloth looks like a neurodivergent chick, <laughs> like a chick, like a yeah, baby, yeah, yeah, baby yeah. chick. I, oh, not a girl. That's not what you meant. Yeah, yeah. just making sure. I don't want to get canceled for two <laughs> things at once. Yeah, I'm gonna go the sloth. I love the sloth. All right, I think we have one more in the second round. No, we're on to the third round. Third round. Third okay. round. The semifinals of this side. These are both polar opposites. So adorable. Little so gorilla, adorable. little tiger. Who are you taking? Oh, you want to do a three, two, one on this one? Sure. Okay. Three, two, one. Gorilla. gorilla. Okay. Should we just put the gorilla in the final? I, I don't right know. Now, no, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Look at the nose, the flat face. Oh my god, it's, it's ridiculous and fuzzy it's too. It's so fuzzy. Next. Oh, oh my! Sloth. Two animals with a very similar nose. It's very similar expressions and everything going on a here. Neurodivergent. It really baby shows duck. you that a lot of this is about like the camera angle of course. and oh, the absolutely. expression of the face. Yeah, like I, there's like I think the that eyes. Oka effect on the pig really does something for it. Dude, you. I think you could if you took that same photo of like a tarantula, you'd be like, oh, <laughs> it's true. yeah. yeah. Right. So Peter, that's actually <laughs> Kyle's kind of shaking swaying. his head no over there. He's like, uh, uh-uh. it's kind of swaying my opinion a little bit for the sloth because the, the it's clear that the photographer. Photographer of this baby pig was just, I mean, better. You got to go based doing. on the photo. Yep. All right. Based on the photo, the bokeh is part of the photo. <laughs> go in piglet. Sloth. Nice sloth for me. I don't ah! like the sloth. I'm sorry. Tie break. I, just, I didn't even like the piglet to begin with. So, <laughs> I know. Yeah. Neither, neither did I. <laughs> Forrest is going to toss that piglet up like a peanut and swallow it. All right. It. So oh, this wow. is to advance to the finals. This is. To take on the red panda. Right, now, everybody yep. just take kind of a pause here in a moment. Let's <laughs> that's, really think about this one. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. 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 Deep breath. Gorilla, humanoid, gets very large. That's not what this is about. It's not about the future. It's about right How now. How big is this this newborn gorilla, would you say? Uh, pretty infant size. Probably this, this big. What would you say, a foot and a half tall? Yeah, let's call it let's call two feet tall. Foot By the half, way, two okay, feet. it's bigger, just, just bigger than I thought, actually. Yeah, versus the baby sloth, which is probably like a pocket Pokemon. Can I, can I like, just, okay. can I just real quick, 
and not to sway anybody. It won't opinion. be real quick, but sure. But look at the uh, <laughs> look at the gorilla's toes wrapped around. Yeah, the that's a line. really good point. I mean, look, there's no contest here for me. It's very easy. I'm going gorilla. I'm going gorilla. I mean, that's the answer, isn't it? Yeah. I probably would have picked it too, to be honest. I'm obsessed with the sloth, but I think the face on that gorilla, it's a better human. Yeah. yeah. I'd rather have that than my next child. I just want to pet it on the <laughs> no head, question. dude. Oh, God, it's so All cute. right, we're on to the finals. It. I want to kiss its fuzziness. <laughs> oh, boy. Wow. I, wow. I, you know what I'm going to say here? Big showdown. A lot of times with these brackets, something that shouldn't have made it gets there because of its matchups. Agreed. This really was the top two. They see, doing it this I way agree. is better. Interesting. Because you're picking the different I think, competitors. Yeah, I think there's the something side. psychologically going on. That's interesting. Okay. Um, okay. Red Panda tough. versus a newborn gorilla. This it's is, really hard. It's, it's really hard. So if you're hard. only listening, please at least watch this part because it's really hard. Just Google image these animals because yeah. like, you shouldn't not be seeing them. Can, yeah. I, can I do something before you guys answer? Yeah, of yeah. course. I need Build time. Up. Hype Kyle, it up. can you jump on here and tell us? Just don't even give us an explanation. Just tell us which animal you would pick. If we weren't here, yes, you, you're Kyle. <laughs> <If> you're <laughs> For me, it's, it's very easy. Wow. Oh, then, then wait. Yeah, then I wait. agree. Then okay. wait, because right. I don't see it as very easy. No, this is a very difficult choice. Wow. I, think, I think we should maybe all four, three, two, one, get, do it. Okay. Wow, that's different. It's going to be hard to process this, but okay. Yeah, there's going to be Ready? a lot of sounds in do the Do you room. know your choice? Yeah, I know. Uh, yes, I know my choice. And again, choice. the matchup is... The red panda versus the gorilla to be deemed the cutest baby animal in the world. On earth. Period. On earth. <laughs> yep. Ready. Three, two, one. Panda. panda. What? You want oh. panda? Panda. Three for Three panda. Three pandas. Three for and panda. Kyle said it was easy. Oh my. Congratulations, uh, red, red panda. panda. I give it up. Good the job, most red beautiful panda. animal, the cutest animal. You put your tongue world. out. Um you did it. That was that I was mean, fantastic. Honestly, oh, I think that's the animal I'd want to have the most. Like, if I could just have a cute, friendly red panda, I, I think I could just die happy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I hope big does a red panda get? Let's let's get some facts on a red panda. Just because. let's highlight it uh, for a bit. Put it in the spot. Sure, you guys can go and see on our Patreon is my trip to India and Nepal, where we go looking for the red panda. Did yeah. you find them? Uh, oh yeah, we found nice. them up in the highlands of Nepal. They were utterly adorable. Now, see, if they had used that photo, go to that, that photo one up, one over, Kyle. One up, one over. That would never have made it. No. That wouldn't have even been... Well, that, that would have been okay. eliminated immediately. Now, in all fairness, that just... The, the vet is holding it. Yeah, yeah. It just came out of the womb. Correct. It's slimy. Its eyes haven't opened yet. Correct. Give him a break, man. It's still cute. I'm just saying it doesn't. Oh my god! What that. if it was that? You ever pit? seen a human baby come out? There's They're horrendous. Ugh, unfortunately. Right, so, so these live in India. Nepal and India, and even into China, high high mountains, uh, deciduous forests. They, what else can I say about? Well, them? I mean, like, what do they eat? They just eat leaves. And yeah, leaves and flowers and shoots. Um, they're not like a regular panda that can only eat you. No, they're not a panda. It's a silly oh. name. They're related to. Uh, they're related to like raccoons and tanukis. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, they're not really a trash panda. panda. Who would have thought that a raccoon relative? was deemed the cutest baby animal in the world, officially, yeah. inarguably. Look inarguably. at this. Uh, two currently recognized subspecies, the Hilima, Hima, 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 Himalayan and the Chinese, genetically divergent about 250,000 years ago. Pretty amazing. That's fascinating Between that they 250,000 years ago, these two groups of red panda just stopped. Co I mean, how do they even figure that out, dude? That's ludicrous. Through, ju through DNA yeah. and genetics, yeah. Wow, um, that was that was literally, I think, one of the funnest things we've ever done on this podcast. All right, well, that's. I'm not kidding. The most fun I've had this week, easily. Good. Oh, yeah. This With month was me. the most adorable. My heart melted a little bit. I yeah, literally yeah. got stomach flips when I saw well, that. Yeah, it, the butterflies. It, like, oh. it's yeah. given me an idea here. Okay. Okay. I think it's time. I think I know what time oh, it is. No. Do you know not what time though. it is? Battle Royale. What? We're gonna go what? slaughtering babies? No. Yeah. No, this is the Battle Royale. Okay. Here's the challenge. The okay. red panda has just been deemed by the people on Earth to be the cutest baby animal. Right. Yep. Here's your challenge. Oh boy. You must take the head, the body, and the legs, snake draft. Yep, of course. Of Baby animals. Yep. Could okay. be ones we've seen, could be ones we haven't seen. Sure. 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 To create a new animal 
that is cuter than the red panda baby. Wow. Good luck. So that is good luck. That's the goal. I mean, uh, take all those elements that you pointed out—the eyes, the snout. The Kyle, field. can you all pull up the brackets so that I can know what the fuck I'm talking no, about? No, 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 no. I gotta be no, able to look no, at them. No, 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 no. You no. know what animals this are. This is bullshit. Uh, listen, guy. We're not listen, listen, guy. Always have You've a leg been doing this for three you know years. About animals. You've been doing this Shut for three ahead. years. You, have you have been give doing us animal years. facts <laughs> now. Of course. Between what these a surprise and the bonus pod, we've done over 200 podcasts, like 220. So. Does mean I've learned what? Okay, go ahead. That's fine. You guys want me it's, to lose? It's you know, fine. It's the voodoo race. I think we talking. make them start now. After all that, that's fine. I'll start. No, you know here. what? You get a leg up. You get to pick the cutest feature of everything you just saw. Okay, I'll remember somewhat. You will. Yeah, for sure. Let your beers this do the talking. Got a, you am I go going first? first? Yeah, sure. go first. Well, I'm gonna He's go. Like, ahead. I'm up my first three picks. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and pick uh, for the face. God, it's got it's got to have that. Uh, the great ape face, the baby okay. gorilla head and face. That's a good pick. It's a good pick. I, I like mean, it. we all fell in love with it, so it's yeah, a good pick. That's an awfully good pick. Yep. Um, oh so, my God, there's an even cuter picture <laughs> that Kyle has just pulled up. So he's starting with a baby gorilla head. It's off the table. It's off the table. Um, okay. Oh God, it's beautiful. This is this is really hard. I'm gonna I'm gonna I know what I'm gonna do here. Okay. Uh, I actually I'm gonna win. No way. <laughs> I've already got it loud. The reason Crocodile the body. reason that the baby fur seal <laughs> the reason the baby fur seal didn't win was because of the flippers in the body. It's true. Sure, sure. If it was just the face, baby fur seal pretty damn cute. Baby fur seal head. Wow. Oh, okay. Okay. Galapagos baby fur seal head. Okay. Okay. Very you're, nice. you're up for two or three. Very now for nice. Us. Yeah. Look at that fourth photo. You all stick over. that head on a cute body <laughs> and a nice set of legs. It's so that's sad. Right. No matter what. Yeah, it really is <laughs> sad. <laughs> But that's, oh, that's, but that's all it. it's got going okay. for it. All right, so. so we got, I'm going to go ahead too. Um, Smart. So that way we're staying even here. I think that I've got this one in the bag, and I'm, I'm picking from animals that aren't on those lists. Okay. So take that. As you should. I'm going to start with the head of a baby fennec fox. That's, that, yeah, no fennec. That's fennec. absurd. I mean, any cuteness competition should start here. Look at that. Come on, baby gorilla face. No, come on. That? You're not taking that? Look at those ears. That's from some other planet. I really want to see these, like, compared to each other, these three faces. Like, I need a side-by-side. I also really would like Dave Sunshine to make these for us. Absolutely. Because this is not an insurmountable one like some of the ridiculous things <laughs> right. we say. hyper He doesn't have to put herpes into anything, I hope. Yes. <laughs> yeah. All right. What are you doing next? Right. So I have the head of a fennec fox, and I'm going to put it on the body of a, of a long-haired guinea pig. Okay, wow. now you're thinking, like what? Just wait. Look at these guinea pigs. <laughs> Look at these show guinea pigs with their hair. Show, show yeah, guinea pigs. Yeah, I swear to God, type in show guinea pigs, so you put, So you put a fennec fox head on this mop. Mop. Yep. Yep. It's an old lady's wig from the 80s. Look at, yeah, oh look my at these God, things. it really is. Yeah. Look at this thing. Dude, so Forrest has look a, at that one. Go to the <laughs> center one. Where the hair is going to that one. This <laughs> horse <laughs> literally has... A fennec fox head growing out of Bruce Valanche's wig. <laughs> like, it's Look insane. It. It's so good. It's yeah, so this good. is literally right. Forrest's best pick out of any battle royale. Dude, it's it's going to it's yeah. look like a wig. No, it's going to be With so good. Wait head to see the legs I'm putting on it. Um, all right. It scales to the body size. I'm going to take one also that was not on the list. Okay. I want the rotund, sort of round, cute, distended belly. Of a baby French bulldog. Wow. Ah, very nice. Okay, okay. To very go with nice. my otter head. <laughs> See, that's not bad. That's pretty cute. I mean, look, a baby French bulldog is very cute. Very. Give that body an otter head. Yeah. <laughs> oh, seal. Boy. Seal head. You so, know. Oh, yeah. Baby fur seal head. Duh. This is really hard. You're up for two. Because I, I realized <laughs> that when you, put, when you put a baby gorilla's head onto anything other than, like, a bipedal creature. It point. looks very strange and creepy. Very. So I'm now like. You're at a disadvantage. You have a very limited pool. I, I mean. Or I, you just go really out there. I, yeah, I throw might, it on a dolphin and movie. see what happens. I was thinking like a snake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> I mean, it's good. No, but I, I think I've come up with potentially a happy medium because of the flu factor. Um, I'm going to put my. Baby gorilla's head and face onto the body of a chow chow. Okay. 
Because the fluffiness of the chow chow, yeah, I, I, I they see like this. it makes it, it up matches for the, the it also head. matches mm-hmm. the fluffy head exactly. Mm-hmm. And I think okay. that's about all I could do other than something that's just it's wildly small. Out it's there. cute. And yep. then what what kind of little baby legs? Oh, and I'm have? going legs too, boy. You must. All right, legs scale to the body. <laughs> yes. Uh, I know what he's gonna do. I just thought of something hilarious if I just gave it like ostrich feet. <laughs> Ludicrous. That's different. That's out no, there. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to go with bunny feet, dude. Bunny feet. Oh, uh, yeah. A little cute, bunny, little fluffy little bunny, feet. bunny feet. Bunny That's feet. nice. Baby bunny feet. Yeah, Come the, on, big, that, the big back thumpers. Yeah. It's yeah, very smart. cute. Yeah, well, no, very well, cute. By the way, everybody who's picturing this, all the same color. So don't picture like a... Like a, no, no, a of course. Black of course. gorilla yeah, head good. on like a white chow chow body. <laughs> yeah. I hope that's how whoever edits this puts it together. Yeah. Now. Like uh, that, that tri-colored. Was a good pick and a reasonable. I'm trying. Pick. I honestly think one. your really bunny trying. feet was your best pick. I honestly yeah. do. Because that's I agree. A bunny foot, the back foot of a bunny is I I, I literally yeah. want to kiss one right yeah, now. I There's know. a reason that they it. cut them off the bunny and put it on a keychain yeah, so awful. you and I can carry it so around awful. in our fucking pockets. Well, we don't do that. To be clear. Um all right, that was a really good pick. Thank you. I'm pretty God, proud of this I, one. I was so tempted to to just go with the feet of the baby duckling, but then I know I'm going to lose, and I want some votes. They're not cuddly. You don't I want know, duckling feet exactly. to snuggle with. So, uh, okay, I've got my first seal face on the uh, on the little French bulldog's little cute, fat little body. <laughs> fat wrinkles. I know what I'm going to do. What do you got? Okay. I'm going to take Kyle's favorite from the bracket. And I'm going to give it the feet of a little baby piglet. Wow, little the feet trotters. And legs. Little tiny little trotters. Yeah, the little legs and feet of a baby. You hear them on the hardwood floor. Piglet. It's like a little tap down. I like when I know they're coming. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I mean, I'm sorry, but I got to be honest here. the soup. Yeah. There's a big feet and there's soup coming up. You you picked hooves for your feet. I want to hear it coming across the hardwood. I will say this, and I'm not agreeing that I'm not saying Pat's one. I'm just saying when you see a little hoofed animal like a tiny horse <laughs> look at, look or a little it. pig. Yeah. It's like adorable when yeah. they're little like tick, 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 clump, yeah. clump, yeah. clump. Exactly. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Forrest, how are you going to round out your, your animal? My creation of mm-hmm. a fennec fox head on a long haired guinea pig body. Yeah. I'm going to give it the limbs of a juvenile orangutan. Okay. So it's like clingy. It's got pretty long. Again. I'm sorry. What was your body again? The, the hairy guinea pig. The one that looked like the wig. This is really creepy. So those no limbs way, are just going to come out from under the so wig? That's going to be so cute. Yeah, you're going to have all this mop of hair, these crazy ears, and this cute face, and then it's going to cling to you and <laughs> climb around on you. I, I do like the clinging bit. Yeah, I mean, um, this is, to me, like worse than the evil gremlins. That what? The gremlins. <laughs> it's what? It's, it's, a, dare it's you, a walking toupee I, with you, a fox You made a Peter head. pick. You did a Peter No, creation. I think it's a fantastic pick. Come on, man. Does think your fox have a little... I'm serious. Like, is it just like spitting mealworms all over your bedspread? <laughs> <laughs> mealworms. <laughs> all right, uh, there's weigh in. Let us know who you think made the cutest animal of yeah. the three. I'm not going to recap. Just you know what they are. And uh, let us know what your cutest animal is. I'd actually like to read these. I'd like to yeah. read one out. Oh, I, yeah, I was going to say, absolutely. let's do this. Take something that wasn't a baby animal that wasn't even on the bracket yeah. that you think could contend with the red panda. We will actually read all of the comments sure. and pick a yeah, winner. I and think well, me and Kyle will read and then uh, yeah, exactly. correct. And we'll announce it on the next yeah, podcast. Yeah, that's correct. Well, guys, do this thing. has been a fun one. This time I want to do something a little different. Everybody, come see us at Animal Con. What are the dates again? September yep. 15th and 16th. We're going to be there four hours streaming live on YouTube in the middle of the day. So even if you can't come see us there in Florida, watch the live. It's, it's going to be, be ridiculous. It's at a resort. We've got a sponsor. There's a super cool backdrop. All of the world's biggest animal influencers Coming are going to be chatting with us. us. You can sit and chat with us while we're podcasting. Most importantly, our wives won't be there and we'll be boozing. <laughs> I'm not. So no comment. Dark and stormy. Uh, also, uh, if you've ever thought, I like this podcast, it makes me laugh. I enjoy it. It makes me more interesting because I have facts when I go on Tinder dates to yep. talk about. I learn sure. stuff. But I just wish I could have more. There's four more every month. Four. You can subscribe on Spotify. Spotify. Patreon. Yep. Mm-hmm. Take four more podcasts a month and, and take it to the Laugh, bank. Laugh, learn, live, and love. love. Potentially yeah, in talks nice. to start doing even more. So maybe look forward to that. Mm-hmm. Wildtimes.club forward slash Rick. info. Check out the Spotify. Four bonus pods. Six total per month. Ad free. Same on Patreon for ad free. Uh, That's it, guys. This, Good night. this has been wonderful. <laughs> Pat, stop rushing me. Well, I, you just repeated a bunch of stuff that I had just. Listen, said. I, I wanted. To, I, I want to do something that uh, that Forrest normally does. 
if you've made it this far, just, which is going to be maybe one person, th- th- just no, comment. No, zero. I've tuned in. Animal Con. No, comment no. Kyle's piglet. No, stop piglet. walking over <laughs> my promotion. I'm sorry. God damn it. Now people are going to fucking no, do no, that. No, no, you're right. No, you're, do yours. Don't do, yours. do mine. Do, do yours. If no, you've no, now they're all going to be yours now. No, they're no. all going to be yours. If, Animal Con, if you think Pat's meager. And you could type that whole thing. I think Pat's meager. Go this to is why Animal you Con. don't do the end thing. <laughs> He's really bungled this. <laughs> No, uh, just type Animal Con. Do Peter's thing. If you've made it this far, we're seeing how many people listen through this much bullshit, which is zero people. Yeah. Yeah. Type Animal Con. Three times quick. Red leather, yellow leather. Please don't make Have me you been practicing? Again. No. Do it. Shit. You can't even do one. Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow, yellow. Fuck. <laughs> yes, you. Red leather, yellow leather. Red, yellow. Fuck. <laughs> I nailed Here it last time. Kyle, he Kyle. He didn't even get red out last time. <laughs> Red leather, yellow leather, red yellow leather. Nope. All right, here we go. <laughs> no, it's not red Dude, leather. This is my only is talent all the in marbles. life. Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather, red leather, but yellow leather. You said three times fast. That was... Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow no, leather. he's good at it. Really he is really good at it. I've been practicing it. since I was six. I believe it. Toy good night, everybody. Good night. <laughs> Shenanigans.